Hello and welcome to this week's Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. Thank you for joining us this week. I'm coming to you live from uh, Norman, Oklahoma this week, visiting one of our customers there and uh, taking a little time out of the schedule to spend a few minutes with you for the Wednesday Web Chat. This week our topic is uh, continuing a, our series on Crystal Reports Basics and today we're going to be taking a look at parameters, how they're created and how they're used in one example Crystal Report. So with that, let me uh, switch the screens here and we'll go take a look at Crystal Reports and parameters for today's Web Chat session. So I have here on the screen the Report and Layout Manager from a uh, demo SAP Business One system. And I'm going to take a look at a Crystal Report that has parameters and explain to you uh, how they work, how they're created, and uh, how you have to set them up, uh, just as basic information about this. So here's a report out of the Report and Layout Manager that I know has parameters in it. I'm going to highlight it in the Report and Layout Manager and click the Edit button. And in a couple of uh, minutes, perhaps, sometimes it takes a bit, uh, Crystal Designer will open and we will have our report specification visible. There it is. It's faster than a couple of minutes, of course. And uh, so here we are with our report specification. Now, I'm going to show you how these parameters work when you run the report to start with. Right? So we're going to go to uh, this in the Crystal Designer with the add-in installed for SAP Business One. I can actually preview what the user will see in SAP Business One by launching it through the add-ins menu. And then I can switch to SAP Business One, and you'll notice that my parameters selection criteria screen has appeared. So in this case, uh, I want a date range. So here's one parameter for a date range. I'm going to go all the way back to January 1st of the year 2000. And I can also select employees. I can select them all, I can unselect them all, or I can select uh, uh, which ones I really want. So these are my sales employees, and click OK. And there's another one here about hiding the, uh, the report time, but I'm going to leave the report. 